Richard. Um, this is a, it's a long time since uh, Messi and Ronaldo were missing from this fixture. Yeah, you have to go back to 2007. Um, uh, so over a decade um, that year, I think, yeah, I think that was the year Messi. It's absolutely extraordinary. He was only 19. He scored a, he scored a hat-trick in the fixture. Um, so that's the way the, those two have lit up um, the game over the last decade or more. Um, so as you mentioned, Messi uh, picked up a fractured arm last weekend in the game, game against Sevilla. And of course, Ronaldo is in Italy these days. Yeah, now, um, Real Madrid, a club uh, in crisis. They've won one of their last five games and it was a, it was a scrambly win uh, in the Champions League uh, this week at home to a very poor uh, side from the Czech Republic. Uh, there is a crisis. Uh, Lop- L- Lopetegui, uh, the coach, uh, was um, headhunted from the Spanish national team in most extraordinary circumstances. Just on the eve of the World Cup, he had guided Spain to the World Cup. He had an outstanding unbeaten record as manager of Spain. And Perez... Uh, the president of Real Madrid uh, poached him and then announced that he'd poached him. Uh, Lopetegui was uh, sacked uh, and Spain went into the World Cup really without a manager and it's all started very badly for him, Richard, hasn't it? The loss of Ronaldo, of course, would be a mortal blow but he's um, he's, he's on uh, life support at the moment, I think. He is. It's it's a it's a matter of time um, as to when he's he's sacked. Um, I guess it, it was a case of divine retribution. He he um, he landed in the job under under very poor circumstances. We we can come back to him. He's he's quite a weak character. Um, but there there were kind of system, systemic flaws in the club when he arrived to take over the job in the summer. Um, obviously, the, the the loss of Ronaldo to Juventus. Um, was is the big factor, um, and they have an aging team anyway. I mean, Ramos has been a fantastic uh, player, uh, but he is getting on. Marcelo getting on. Benzema also getting on. Gareth Bale, I think, has only scored two goals this year, and is undoubtedly injury prone. So, um, and the young players like Asensio that they have. They're not really uh, Galactico material, are they? No, and what's happened is that they bungled uh, the renovation project that's necessary to to um, to rebuild this team. Um, obviously, there's a, an underlying factor; it's a psychological one. This is a team that it's won four Champions League titles in five seasons, so it's very difficult uh, with the team that's sated with so much success to to motivate them. But the changes they have made haven't made sense. The obvious uh, thing they needed to do was to find a replacement striker for Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, Okay, there isn't anybody else out there like him. Messi obviously wouldn't leave Barcelona. Um, So there's nobody else who can guarantee you 50 goals. He certainly wouldn't leave for Real Madrid. (laughs) No, no, not in in these circumstances. But if you go down a a notch below, there are other strikers out there. Robert Lewandowski, uh, Mauro Icardi has done very well at Inter Milan. He's only 25, top scorer in Serie A twice. So there there are kind of players that they could have um, put in as a stopgap measure. Um, but instead they just penny pinched and they brought back a guy a, a former youth academy player Mariano uh, for 23 million who's only one season playing with Leon in the top flight um, he, he's played four games in La Liga he hasn't scored so that was the big thing they needed to do but then they, they went messing around they they didn't need a goalkeeper but the Florentino Perez and this was a, it was a bone of contention with Zidane when he, he was in the job he he um, he overruled a move to buy a keeper last January Kepa who's now at Chelsea but Florentino Perez the club president during the summer insisted on buying in a new keeper um uh, Thibaut Courtois from Chelsea so Lapetegui has had this problem trying to juggle those two players he brought in Alvaro uh, Odriozola from Real Sociedad which is unsettled Danny Carvajal who's arguably the best right uh, full back in the world um, 
he's been he's been dropping Tony Cruz for um, Danny Ceballos, a young Spanish player. Um, he's he ha- he's rested um, Marcelo. He's rested Modric critically, who, who's the fulcrum of the team. So he's annoying the players um, uh, in a, in an effort to to what he sees as, as recharging the team. Yeah, I mean, but, um, the, the, it's just the haphazard. 